Well, right from the off, this was a game of fast tempo, exciting goal mouth action and goals, Clive. It certainly was, and this was the uh, closest that City come in the early stages. Sane's left foot drive coming back off the post, and uh, Fernandinho not able to control as it comes back to him so quickly. But six goals, and we probably remember the quality of this one as much as any of the others. Well, it was a good break by Lolly, helped on by Billing, had the awareness to find Bum, and he had the composure, and then the power of shot to beat Bravo to put Huddersfield into the lead. Well, they call it the curse of the ex-player. He really perhaps can't call himself an ex-City player. He's an ex-City trainee. But you can imagine, at the age now of 24, coming back here saying, I can do this, and I can do it to you too. There have been some chance for handball. There was one there, but City in the end grateful that the referee, Paul Tierney, didn't blow because Sterling put it on the plate for Sane, and the game turned really from that point. Yeah, it was the first time, really, that Sterling got one-on-one. -on -one with Holmes Dennis and he shows undoubted ability the step overs and then he plays it through his legs into the path of Sané to tap in Sterling didn't play in the first game the nil-nil draw but they certainly saw plenty of him tonight had this field and found it hard to deal with him just a little disorganised Huddersfield in that situation allowing Otamende to get into a situation where Stankovic fouled him, penalty. Yeah, Stankovic just gets caught the wrong side, Otamendi gets the run on him and uh, pulls him to the ground and Aguero steps up to fire into the roof of the net to give City the lead. Wonderful composure, waits for the goalkeeper, Coleman to go away to his left and then lifts it into the roof of the net to open his account for the evening. And he was a whisker away from uh, doubling his money in the next couple of minutes. You fancy him in this situation, but he just got the geometry slightly wrong that time. Well, I think he's just falling away as he side foots the effort, tries to put it into the bottom corner, capitalises on Craney's mistake, waits for the keeper to go and just trying for the position. And he was looking for another goal himself, but ended up setting up the third after his power drive, but he was still on the move, still thinking. And Zabaleta. And how there. he enjoyed it, Martin. <laughs> Laying it on for his buddy Zabaleta. He was sharp all evening, powerful drive, but the reaction was good. Touch, pass, and Zabaleta with the easy finish as he cuts it back to him. And he's uh, just thrown down the challenge, Pep Guardiola, to Sergio Aguero. Challenge that he's meeting. This was a chance right on half time for Huddersfield to get a second. Jack Payne beautifully put in by Billing. Great awareness. Billing's reverse pass. I thought that was a big moment at the end of the first half. And this was a big moment at the start of the second half. Because a Lolly getting in with the header. Suspicion of offside, but it would have counted. Well, it's a well-worked corner. And Lolly has the clearest of chances, as we can see. As he's delivered, might well have been a fraction offside. Maybe Clichy playing him on, but the chance was to head at target. He misses a big opportunity right at the beginning of the second period. But, uh, the race was run for Huddersfield pretty much after that. And weary at the end, punished by Aguero again. Sharp movement, instinct for goal. Top player, if you play against somebody like him and he scores against you, you usually say, well, well done, I'm pleased to be on the same pitch. Top goal scorer, and as soon as he takes that touch, Sterling, you can see the way Aguero attacks the space at the near post, gets across the defender, wonderful finish. Well, that was a, a very controlled, classy finish. This was a bit of a strange one, but it's undoubtedly Iggy Nacho's touch. He was explaining to his teammates at the final whistle exactly what happened. His goal, 5-1. Yep, there's a couple of touches actually, there's a wry smile from Guardiola, but to Ian Echo introduces a substitute for Aguero, again in the right place at the right time, gets the final touch, 5-1 victory.